Hello everyone, today I am here with a video on stroke. In this video, we will be discussing about what is stroke and what is the signs and symptoms a patient will have with stroke, how to investigate stroke with few CT slides and finally the management of stroke. So I hope you watch the video till the end and this helps you. Thank you. All of us are familiar with heart attack. But what is stroke? It is a kind of brain attack. It happens to anyone at any time when the blood flow to the brain is cut off, which will lead to lack of oxygen and the cells will begin to die. So stroke, it is the fifth leading cause of death and every year about 15 million people are affected worldwide. Out of that, 5 million people die, which accounts for about one death in every four minutes. In this picture, you can see cerebral hemispheres uh, with sulcus, gyrus and uh, lobes. Uh, I have put up this picture mainly to explain that uh, signs and symptoms will appear according to the part of the brain affected. For example, if the frontal part of the brain is affected, then the patient will complain of um, a difficulty in speech and confusion. If occipit is affected, uh, the patient will complain of uh, vision problem. If cerebellum is affected, then the patient will complain of movement disorders. If temporal region is affected, then the patient will complain of memory loss. So this slide is very important to know. So according to this, in CT, you can easily distinguish which part of the brain is affected. When you suspect a person is having stroke, you should remember this mnemonic fast. When you ask them to smile, you will notice uh, the face starts drooping towards one side. And when you ask them to lift their arms, you will see that uh, the arms are drifting downwards. And when you ask them to speak, you will notice a very strange and slurred speech. So immediately act fast and it's time to call the ambulance. So let's discuss a little bit about the types of stroke. The most common type is ischemic stroke which occurs due to a clot blocking a blood vessel and less common is hemorrhagic stroke which occurs due to rupture of blood vessel. Now let's discuss in details about ischemic stroke. As I said earlier there will be a clot uh, in the blood vessel which blocks the blood flow so that uh, the part of the brain will undergo hypoxia and ischemia. So brain cells they can't survive without oxygen so they begin to die. On the other hand, the less common hemorrhagic stroke, it, it occurs when uh, the blood vessel ruptures and the blood starts leaking um, around the brain tissues. In CT, it is very easy to distinguish between uh, ischemic and hemorrhagic stroke. In ischemic uh, stroke, you can see a hypodense uh, area which indicates that the blood flow is very less uh, to that area. In uh, hemorrhagic stroke, you can see a hyperdense area which uh, will indicate that uh, there was a blood leakage in the part of the brain. So let's discuss a little bit about the causes of stroke. The main cause of stroke is hypertension and uh, cardiac diseases uh, and other causes can be alcohol abuse and smoking and family history of stroke and also oral uh, contraceptive pills and hormone replacement therapy and aging can also be a cause of stroke and high cholesterol levels in the body. So these are the possible causes of stroke. So just have a look on the slide. So now let's discuss a little bit about how to investigate stroke. So you can see there are two types of uh, procedures. So invasive and non-invasive. So invasive uh, you can do lumbar puncture in which you can aspirate CSF uh, fluid to check uh, is there any blood in uh, CSF? This happens if there is uh, subarachnoid hemorrhage in which blood leaks into CSF. And next you can do uh, cerebral arteriography in which a contrast dye is injected and uh, is viewed uh, with the help of uh, x-ray. So you can easily identify if there is any occlusion um, in the blood uh, vessel. And next one is CT angiography. Uh, here um, with the help of contrast and, and CT scan, you can easily view arteries. And in non-invasive uh, uh, procedures, you can do CT scan, MRI scan, PET scan and Doppler ultrasound to check the patency of the blood vessels and also EEG to check if any electrical activity of the brain is altered. So uh, have a look at the slide and now uh, we'll discuss about the management of stroke.
coagulants uh, drugs like warfarin and antiplatelet drug like aspirin easily will interfere with the clot and can uh, destroy the clot and prevent stroke and angioplasty and stents can be placed uh, to treat uh, the blocked blood vessel and carotid end arterectomy can be done if the carotid artery is being blocked by a plague so you um, with this procedure can remove the plague and ischemic stroke uh, can be treated uh, gold standardly by a tissue plasminogen activator so if you administer tissue plasminogen activator like within three hours uh, after diagnosing the patient uh, with stroke you can easily uh, dissolve the clot and uh, facilitate the blood flow to the part of the brain affected and endovascular procedures like uh, mechanical thrombectomy can be done in which a catheter will be inserted um, through the artery in the groin it goes till the blocked artery in the brain and can uh, remove the stent uh, together with the blood clot and also many surgical procedures can be done and also antihypertensive drug can decrease the uh, blood pressure finally uh, let's talk about prevention of stroke if you have uh, high blood pressure you should lower your blood pressure by reducing the salt intake in your diet you can avoid uh, high cholesterol foods like burger cheeses and ice creams and um, you should eat um, plenty of uh, vegetables and uh, fruits uh, every day and you should get more uh, exercise at least uh, 30 minutes a day and uh, quit uh, smoking if you are a smoker and if you uh, consume alcohol you can uh, reduce the intake of uh, alcohol or you can uh, quit the alcohol if you're obese uh, you should act in uh, reducing your weight you can uh, reduce the calorie intakes uh, for days if you have uh, diabetes uh, you should uh, reduce the uh, blood sugar uh, you should have your blood sugar under control and uh, you should get your heart checked because a condition called uh, atrial fibrillation can also uh, lead to clot formation and this uh, from heart this clot can uh, travel to brain so get your heart checked and uh, these are the steps to um, prevent stroke so I finally wanted to uh, thank uh, Dr. Amit sir for encouraging me uh, so much to do uh, this video on stroke and uh, thank you for watching this video and please do uh, share it with your friends, relatives and uh, colleagues.